In this video, I'm going to be installing the Amplink power distribution module on my 2016 Harley Davidson Road Glide Ultra. If you're like me and all these wires confuse the crap out of you and you just need to know how to hook it up to your bike, uh, this could be the video for you. Hey everybody, if we have not met yet, I am Andrew Manuel. This is my YouTube channel, Tour in Midwest, and we're gonna install this Amplink power distribution module from Row Electronics. Uh, Midwest brand down in Iowa. I totally intend to go visit those guys sometime, but this summer is not happening. You probably have a specific idea in mind if you're watching this video, unless you just watch all my videos, which if you do, thank you very much. That is awesome. I'm gonna start out by saying that I am not utilizing this to its full potential. This system is capable of doing all kinds of awesome stuff on your motorcycle. Depending on how you wire it up, you can have different triggers to turn on different things, power up accessory lighting when you hit the when you hit the high beam, have extra lights come on, turn off high or switch back to low beams, have those accessory lights turn off, etc. You can do a ton of different stuff with this thing. I have four circuits that I'm not even going to be using at the moment, as well as two extra triggers that I'm not going to be using. My main goal is to try and clean up the compartment, get rid of some fuses and all that. The idea behind the amp link is you're, you're not going to need any fuses for your powered accessories, heated gloves, phone mount, GPS. This works as basically a junction box. Um, if something does happen, you just reset that circuit and that's it. No digging for fuses, no having to worry about carrying spare fuses for every accessory that you have. Just reset the circuit and you're done. Let's get this thing in place and we'll go from there. I'll show you where I'm going to put it right now. My plan is to hide it behind the battery here and I can get it down in there pretty good. I can get all this extra wiring that I'm not using at the moment tucked down in here as well. So I think that's going to be a pretty good deal. All I'm going to need is my heavy power wire, my ground wire, my always on wire, my trigger wire, and my one and two circuit. I'm going to use one of these to power my heated gear, and I'm going to use one of these to power my phone mount. And that's it for now. These wires you can ignore for now because that's another project. So besides the amp link in the package, you're also going to get this um, negative bus line or whatever. This is where all your negatives are gonna go and also this little packet of connectors and such this bolt and lock nut are gonna go on this end and then this end is gonna go to your battery and to hook up the ground wire we're gonna attach this I'm gonna just pinch this wire down with the vice grips just like so shrink that shrink wrap down so now you're actually able to add that ground so basically we can go directly to the battery with these so we'll have to get our battery disconnected all right so I have this all disconnected and essentially what we're going to be getting rid of is this fuse block for the heated gear and this one for my powered phone mount so we're just going to cut those off and wire them into the PDM but before we hook up the PDM we actually want to get the app ready because you only have a short amount of time to pair the app to the amp link once it's powered on now that's not to say you can't do it again later but you want the initial want to try and get the initial pairing done right away so what I'm going to do is open up the app right here is the amp link app just open that up we're going to go to monitor and it says no amp link device found make sure your device is powered on and Bluetooth is enabled. I'm going to hook up the amp link. I'm going to hit OK. I'm going to hit OK. And let's see if it finds it right away. Go into our Bluetooth click here and see if we need to do it in here. There it is, amp link. There we go. Searching for amp link. There we go. Okay, here we go. You've got your outputs on, off, full. You've got your triggers. They're all off right now. And you'll basically have 
the voltage trigger, which is an ignition trigger, um, a ground trigger. This trigger is disabled. So we're also going to disable this one. All we want is the voltage trigger, and we don't have that hooked up yet, so it's off. Information. This just gives you information about your amp link, what firmware it's on. We can check for firmware updates. We can download the user manual, which I've already done and we can visit realelectric.com. We're only using output one and two setup. Here we go, output one. So under setup, we can select our output, like output one, we can name it. So this one will be phone. If I can spell upside down and backwards and all that. Is that right? You guys let me know if I'm spelling this right. Triggers will be trigger one. It's automatically set up on a seven second time delay. And what that means is when you turn your bike on, it's not gonna power up the device for seven seconds. The idea here is to leave all of your power to start your bike. So like none of your accessories that you have hooked up are gonna get power for seven seconds. So that should give you time to turn on your bike and get it started. Now this, you can change this. Set it to whatever you want. But I think I'll leave it on seven seconds just because I don't need instant power to my phone. Now you want to set the amp. So for instance, whatever you're powering, you need to know the amperage for it. For my phone, since this is the same fuse that it came with, I can check that and that's a four amp fuse. I can set the amp limit. Okay, so now it's a four amp limit. So that matches the fuse that was in there. Now I'm gonna get out of here and that says one phone. So now I can go to two, and I can change that to heated gear. That one I believe is a 7.5 amp fuse because it's for my jacket and gloves. Oh, it's a 10 amp fuse. So go back into heated gear, and I need to change this to 10. So now my amp limit is 10. So basically for the app, we're done for now. So now basically I'm going to hook up the trigger wire testing the wires I found that in here I can either use this red wire right here or this blue one on the other side and there they go to the switch I think I'm gonna cut this sleeve down just a little bit so I can get to it and these go to the tail light I'm gonna use these wire tap I'm gonna slip this little black sleeve over that red wire and when I screw the rest of this back on it's going to tap into that wire. Our trigger wire is right here. It's going to remove that excess. I'm going to unscrew the red end of my posi tap and all you do is just slip your wire in there, put it in side and screw it back down. Now I can pull on it make sure it's secure and there we go. That should be our trigger. So basically your grounds are going to look just like that and then you can just cover them up with this boot. And they're nice and safe. Okay, so now we can cut this one. This is our phone. And our phone, if you recall, is on circuit one. So basically, these wire, these posi taps just make life super, super easy for connecting wires together. Give it a tug, make sure it's secure. Now, this should be all set Oh, and we're going to test it out my USB cord into my phone charger and we'll plug this in and it shouldn't power up yet 
Okay, so far so good. Now I'm going to give it ground. And it still shouldn't power up. Alright, now, if I've done everything correctly, once I turn the bike on and give it ground, it should power up. right there it's charging so success that worked all right all right so this is going to be circuit two this is our heated gear now i need to hook up the power to my accent lighting now that's going to be always on power so that's going to go to this red cable and i'm going to leave the inline fuse in that one I'm going to use another posi tap. I need to hook up my ground first. Alright, that's that. We can attach the power. Now I should add that I haven't actually hooked up my accent lighting yet. This is just in preparation for that. Nice and secure. So that should basically be it for installing the amp link. And I must say it was a little intimidating for some reason looking at it. To be honest, I put off that install for months. And when it really comes down to it, it was not that bad at all. Pretty dang easy, actually. If it's something you're interested in, I'll put the link in the description below so you can check out Real Electronic for yourself. These guys are more well known for their original device, the PDM60. This is basically just a big brother to that. It incorporates the app, makes doing adjustments on the fly much easier. So I'll put their information down below. You can go check them out. But again, like if you haven't heard of it, it's capable of doing way more than what I'm using it for, honestly. It's probably overkill for this situation, but it gives you guys an idea of how to set it up. And basically, the sky's the limit. I mean, you can do all kinds of stuff with this thing. The guys over there are really helpful, so if you have any other questions, don't ask me because it's way above my... <laughs> way over my head but they're they're good about explaining it and all that if you do have any other questions leave them in the comments below i'll try to answer them but don't be afraid if i tell you that i don't know the answer and you need to talk to them over there aaron is a really helpful guy he's been helping me out with this one so other than that i hope you enjoyed the video i hope that you found it informative hit that subscribe button don't forget to ring the bell it will not cost you a thing but it will keep you up to date and notified my battery's dying of any upcoming uploads videos or going live you don't want to miss it stay safe out there you guys and that is it peace